In today's video, we're going to be announcing the August and the September through 2022 Bible verse giveaway winners. Let's get to it. Let's go. What up though, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome back to the Activity Ministry channel where I'm using my gifts to glorify God by simply sharing his word with you. Find folks there on YouTube in fun and interactive ways. And if you don't know it, the best way that you can help this ministry is by blessing that like button down there. Just press that thumbs up so that more people can see this video so that the gospel goes out to more people. It's super easy to do, and I really do appreciate it. But as I mentioned in the intro, what we are announcing today is the August and the September 2022 monthly Bible verse winners. If you're not familiar with what this giveaway is, it's probably the easiest giveaway in all of YouTube. All you have to do is leave your favorite Bible verse in the comments down at the bottom of this video, and I will pick them up, and every month I will pull one out of a box, and that will be our random winner, and that winner will receive the announcement of their Bible verse in a announcement just like this, and also the winner of a Faith Clock mouse pad. Now this is a mouse pad that I came up with where it just has one hour where for each hour of every day, there's a Bible verse to memorize and to reflect on so that you can draw closer to God in every hour of every single day. So this is up for grabs. And all you have to do is leave your bio favorite Bible verse in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get to the first winner of August 2022. I'm a little bit behind, but we're going to catch up real quick. And that winner, this uh, this one's been on here for a long time, probably over a year ago. Mercy Ministries, Matthew 4.4, shared that their favorite Bible verse is John 14.15, which states, If ye love me, keep my commandments. Such a simple proclamation of love for God. If you love God, keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and then love your neighbor as yourself. That's it. And then all the other commandments will fall into place. All right. For September 2022, another one that's been on the list probably for about a year is Dulce Oliveris. And Dulce shared with us that her favorite Bible verse is Isaiah 40, 31, which says, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary they will walk and not faint. They'll say that is a popular Bible verse and for a very good reason. It is so, so uplifting and so encouraging to just reflect on every single day. I, that one's not on the faith clock, but if I had a way to put it on there, it would have been one that I would have definitely tried to put on there. But anyways, I will be reaching out to you guys on YouTube uh, directly, trying to uh, get a hold of you so that I could put the faith clock in your hands so that you could use it and draw closer to God with it. But just like the faith clock, God put that on my heart years ago because I would see the number 444 all over the place. God has recently put it on my heart as a way to help needy people to help them without just giving them money. So I want to encourage you to check out this video that's right up here, and it's going to show you how you can participate with me by sharing God's word and helping the needy at the same time. And it starts, what does it start with? It starts with a sign like this. And it says free gift with $5 donations. And make that $10 as well. And then what I'll do is I'll give you a box like this. And inside of it, there is going to be what I like to call good news bags. So every time somebody donates to that, that needy person, that needy person, if they give them five or ten dollars, they will open up this box and they will share with them what I like to call the good news bag. And then we'll, they'll give that to the New Samaritan and the, the homeless person, the needy person will get to keep the donation for themselves. So it's a way to help them work for the Lord and also be blessed by it. So please take a time and check out this video right up here. That's going to show you how you can participate with me to spread the good news of Jesus Christ through the entire world while also helping someone who needs help. Until next time, be blessed, be a blessing, I be out.